Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going over the question on everybody's minds right now and that is are we just about to see the start of a brand new altcoin season in the cryptocurrency market? Uh, what do I mean by altcoin season for those that are not aware? It basically means altcoins across the board pumping upwards in very high percentage gains. We obviously have seen these in the past and my I will be answering the question in today's video of my perspective using technical analysis. I'm going to focus primarily today on Ethereum against Bitcoin and Ethereum against USD, against, uh, against Tether. Why are we looking at Ethereum? Because Ethereum in a high percentage of the time is the leading indicator for all of these smaller altcoin you know, in, in terms of market caps, these smaller altcoins. And so we're going to be looking at Ethereum today, going over the technical analysis of this coin and how this can correlate directly into, are we about to see the start of this altcoin season? Ladies and gentlemen, all I ask of you right now is just one thing, and that is just that you pay full attention to the information that I will be sharing with you today, because the levels, the strategy, and everything in between in this is going to be really, really, really important. So just pay attention, understand, and uh, let's, let's get ready to crush these markets together. Of course, um, well, I guess without further ado, let's get into it, okay? Looking at Ethereum, of course, I love to trade Bitcoin, don't get me wrong, I'm, I, I'm a, I love to trade Bitcoin. But of course, when Bitcoin is going in these sideways ranges, the opportunities for altcoins obviously increase tenfold. You know, the, the opportunities are great. We start to see more volatility coming into the market, especially when you're aware of these heads up that you can get off of Ethereum. Of course, recently we've you know, been paying attention, we've loved trading Atom in particular, GRT has been fun over recent days. Uh, you know, Luna, AVAX, uh, Gala, I know people have getting into Sands, but there's, you know, there's just this whole long list of altcoins. Oh, they've got it. Jamzy, if you've been trading this one recently. Uh, but it, overall, yeah, there's, there's a lot of opportunities right now in the altcoins. And I want to bring this to Ethereum. So what do we have on Ethereum? Okay, let's start off here. This is a blank chart. This is what everybody gets when they come to the charts. And if you haven't done any technical analysis, this might look you, you might refer to this as, you know, fairly difficult to trade, choppy, range-bound price action. But when you start to add on your technical analysis, this actually becomes some of the most well-respected analysis that you're going to see, period. This is lovely. This was starting off here with Ethereum against Bitcoin, then we're going to move to Ethereum against USD. Now look at this Ethereum BTC chart. I'm going to add on the analysis that we have actually been trading now for five months. Okay, this is long-term time frame analysis where the levels have been lovely they have been lovely so when we add this on you can see we have a triangle which has really been going on since may but obviously you are you start to recognize this triangle a few months after but when we start to look at this this is this was back from november last year where we were this is the exact same triangle by the way this is obviously the weekly chart this would have been back on like the four hour chart at the time now we have much more data it's hard to fit on the four hour chart but you can see we've, we've been aware of this triangle while we were still in it by the way at point d and how this triangle broke to the upside on our next level that we're aware of, of resistance but this is the exact same triangle that we have on here let me just show you a few things of why we rejected really quickly back up there on, on december obviously we broke out of that triangle where did we come up to we came up to our really important last stand in terms of the Fibonacci speed fan okay so we, we we come up to the the speed fan as you can see here that's obviously taken from the from the high all the way down to the low that was put in in August and on top of that uh, the rejection that we obviously got I think we can add in here some higher term time frame levels you can see we had this key level that was from the 14th of May obviously when we originally rejected we put in a rally rejecting obviously there on May for that in a big move to the downside. And back in uh, December, we came up to the top of the speed fan. We came up to the key level. And you can kind of see here on the weekly chart how really nicely move above the level, wick above it, close back down below. And from there, it was over to the bears to take control. First step is, you know, rejecting it back down through your levels of support into that triangle. And this is where it got really, really, really nice. When we come down, let's come down to the four hour chart here. Okay, we can actually see very well respected how the triangle eventually did come back into this triangle. You back tested the top of that triangle. And obviously, well, this is what's the brilliant, amazing thing is you come all the way back down to the low of that triangle once more, where, you know, ETH with a very nice bounce off the low of that triangle. Okay, so when, when we look at this, let's come up to a daily chart a second. If we can just understand and, and, and respect the triangle that we had here. So if we hide these higher term time frame levels again, let's hide the uh, speed fan. Not only was the rejection 
off of the top of the speed fan very nice but the way the triangle came back down here at the start of may you can see how we had the absolute touch of trend line one trend line two coming into the low of that triangle one more time just let me emphasize this really 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 clearly I'm just going to put on the ray tool here and we will take it from the low of that triangle to the next low. You can see how that really, really was a perfect third touch of the triangle low. So let's add that triangle back on so we can see. So, yeah, I just want to emphasize that was that was just oh, just when you love trading like I do to see the absolute back test, perfect touch of the high come down to the absolute low of that. Oh, come on, you have you have to you have to be excited. You just have to. Um <laughs> I am anyway, I love it. Um so yeah, obviously we had the low of that touch and we have started to see a really nice bounce on Ethereum. Yeah, this is a really strong, nice bounce to the upside. You know, what's the next level of resistance that we are coming into? Well, first of all, we can just be aware of that we're coming into like levels such as point of controls. You can see, you know, this is not no random levels in the market. We're coming up here to clearly we're finding temporary, uh, at the very least, resistance uh, at the point of control. So uh, there's obviously a lot of volume that have been has been transacted in this section of the chart. And we are up at that point of control right now. OK, so that's something to be aware of. Do you want to buy into resistance? Um, you might want to wait for, uh, you know, breaks of such levels, for example. But overall, we're, we're very much in this kind of range, okay, in, in my humble opinion. We can see weekly wasn't quite tapped back in in, um, in March, but we all know why that wasn't tapped, because we had the triangle holding us up as support. Okay, but I'm still very much aware of the weekly level. If we are to remain range bound here and this range comes for another test of the downside, I'm very much aware of this weekly as a strong level of support. As well, of, of course, I'm going to be aware of the triangle low once more. And to, to the upside, we are still below this daily and the bigger, of course, um, you know, weekly above us. What I do like about this daily, though, is that we have the confluence once again with the triangle high zone. We have to refer to it as a zone, but the triangle high zone along with that daily uh, ultimately giving us more of a range bound scenario. Of course, if we can break and hold this, naturally we're going to be looking back up towards the weekly or, or higher, of course. Uh, key level is, is, is still a level that I'm aware of, but breaking that weekly would be a very big sign of strength, in my opinion, where, yes, then we could start to, you know, talk about things such as alt seasons. Um, so I just want to take a quick look at Ethereum USD. Why do we look at Ethereum BTC and USD? Personally, I'm only trading Ethereum against USDT, actually. I'm, I'm trading against Tether. But um, I, I, I trade against Tether on Bybit. And so I look at the BTC pair. Although I'm not trading it, I like to use this as a high level of confluence for obtaining my trades when I'm trading against USD or, or Tether. Okay, so uh, I want to take a look at that. I just want to do one quick announcement for you all before we get back onto the Ethereum USD pair. And that is uh, that tonight we obviously have a live stream dedicated to altcoins. So in this one, there will be a, a look at all of the altcoins. Okay, so not just Ethereum, but a look at many more altcoins and the opportunities within the subsection of alt. So if you're interested in that, how we do the analysis, how we're recognizing those opportunities before they explode, um, you know, giving you the analysis that you need for that, well, that's what's going to be uh, hope tonight. Tonight, 19.30 GMT England time. Uh, that's going to be the live stream of tonight. Of course, I have been away for the last few days. Now I'm obviously back trading. But what you have to remember is this, this is what I love. This is this is the thing that we've created now, that Chart Champions is more than just myself. We have the whole host of coaches. And this was a, this this guy's setup is brilliant, by the way. I absolutely love that. Watching, this is George's daily update on the TV in his front room. <laughs> I love that, by the way. But what you have to remember is that you're not relying on me anymore. You have the team of professionals alongside me. So you're going to have all the coaches. OK, you've got the coaches, the trading assistant here for you every day, answering your questions, giving you live stream updates literally every single day. So there's there's never a worry about not receiving enough content, by the way, because you've got more and more, more, more than enough to get stuck into. And um, yeah, I just thought that was like a nice thing to remind you of that. Hey, if I go away for a few days, obviously I was at the F1 this weekend. Wow, what, what an experience, by the way. But even when I'm away, you've still got the, the, you know, the professionals alongside me to assist you and help you every single day. Whether your questions are beginner or advanced, um, you know, that's just a, just a reminder for you all. Um, so shout out to the coaches. Thank you ever so much for your assistance while I was away. And, you know, bringing this back onto Ethereum USD now. 
So Ethereum USD has is also another asset that is you know very much range bound at the moment. You can see it obviously bounced originally off the monthly. We kind of got a retest of that monthly, and we're still within this range. Okay, very similar actually, of course, to Ethereum BTC. We can obviously see that triangle type structure with the lower highs being put in and the higher lows. So we are getting constricting price action where one would expect a, a break or a fake out at the very least of either side. To the upside, of course, we still have this really big weekly level. Um, you know, yesterday we kind of took the highs there at, th th you know, $3,050, uh, a sub level, but the bigger resistance obviously coming in there around $3,350. Of course, if we break this, we are going to have to be looking at the strength that's occurring on Ethereum BTC, because if we are breaking that big weekly while simultaneously breaking this, of course, that's going to give great strength to the upside on Ethereum. So it's not like an it's it's kind of, I refer to this as somewhat complex. If you have a good grasp of technical analysis, this is a very simple trade, which yet I do agree could lead to very big move to the upside because the lack of resistance that you've got on both pairs and if they're coming together, this is a really, really, really nice trade. Uh, relatively easy per se, but definitely requires you to have a good understanding of how the markets work, but relatively easy. And so I'd be looking for that break on Ethereum USD there of the weekly while simultaneously, you know, preferably seeing the break of, of the daily there. And I would be thinking this is great strength to the upside break of the range. Of course, we are going to be having to take a look at Bitcoin. And this is why I refer to it's pretty complex because you've got three moving parts. You have to be aware of what Bitcoin, ETH BTC and ETH USD is doing. So it's somewhat complex in that regards. But, you know, myself and people that are educated are pretty, um, you know, wouldn't really struggle with that too much. And... Then, of course, we'd be looking for the break of this range to, to much higher levels. Well, yeah, then we could see the start of an alt altcoin season. Okay, But at the moment, my answer is, are we about to see an altcoin season? My, my answer would be, would be somewhat no. Why? Because we are still ultimately range bound. So there's no need to be ultra excited. There's no need to be going all in. There's no need to be doing anything of anything else than what we would normally do. Yes, there's opportunities on altcoins. Yes, there's opportunities in 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 quite a few different altcoins so we're seeing really nice massive moves i mean if you've been looking at that well jamzy uh, rune some of them yeah they're, they're moving up hundreds of percentage in, in a few weeks and of course we're taking advantage and we're trading those altcoins but to think that everything's just going to explode is is not the right thought process yet why because ethereum is ultimately still range bound that's so if we can break some of these high key resistance levels hold them and then yes of course these things can move very hard very quickly so I wouldn't want to overexpose myself too early though, okay? I'd still be careful with my hedges. I'm still gonna be, you know, approaching this in a sensible manner, okay? Until we can really see those breaks, I'm not going to envision too much of a break. I'll trade it if it comes. I'll be aware of what's about to come and, um, you know, I'll wait for the charts to prove to me you know, that it actually has that strength, okay? So that's that's the way that I personally am approaching this. Um, that's my viewpoint, that's my analysis, and that's that's how I'm making money on the holes right now. So I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that thumbs up button, give the video a like, and we'll say if we get 2,000, and you can comment Comment down below the altcoin that you're interested in me covering, because I will do, uh, if you if we hit 2,000 likes, I'll cover the most requested, let's say top three altcoins down below. So comment your top three altcoins uh, that you'd like me to cover in a video, hit the like button. If we get 2,000, I'll do the top three for you. Um, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> if you want to see more from us, of course, we got the altcoin live stream tonight where we will give you our favorite altcoins. And um, yeah, if you want to see more from us, learn alongside us, educate yourself, empower yourself, and of course, crush the charts with us on an absolute daily basis, then that's over at chartchampions.com where you can learn and uh, get access to all of the good information that we're sharing. So um, yeah, thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video that we release. Thank you. And of course, ending with a disclaimer, no financial advice. We are education, entertainment only, no official financial advice here. So understand that. And I'll catch you in the next video that we release. Thank you ever so much and goodbye. Cheers.